Hi everyone, it's Michelle. Welcome back. So today I thought I would do a couple of things for you. Um, first of all, I wanted to stop in and say hi. I know it's been a while since I filmed a video, but you know, life is busy and I haven't had a chance, but I did today, so here we go. I thought I would do a couple things today. I did, if you follow me on Instagram, I did purchase the new Wayne Goss face set, his new um, white hair brushes, and I thought I would talk about them and what my uh, first impressions are of them. I've had them out of five or six days now, five days maybe. I got mine, I ordered mine the first day, they delivered them the next morning, so I got mine within 24 hours from Beautylish, which was fantastic. So I thought I would talk about them today, and then a couple of lip products that I am loving from Chanel I thought I would talk about today. So let's jump in and talk about the brushes, if that's why you're here. So he did a new face set with different hair. The brushes are relatively similar, um, but this is called the Wayne Goss, Wayne Goss The Face Set, uh, and they are Japanese brushes, and you can get them at Beautylish. There are six brushes. Um, yeah, six brushes, and they're beautiful. I will say that they are. I believe they're. I believe them to be goat hair. They are ultra, ultra soft. I will talk about that, and I'll compare them a little bit to his other face brushes. I did not buy the set of his other brushes, so I can't compare them one to one. I do have a couple of face brushes from his other line or his previous versions, and so I'll talk a little bit about what I, how they compare. Again, these are initial impressions. I've had the brushes less than a week, but I do think they're still available on Beautylish, so I thought I'd talk about them in case they're going to sell out and you're on the fence about them. So, it's six brushes. It is brush 10, right? 10 through 15. Yeah, 10 through 15 have been redone in goat hair. And Wayne did a video talking about them. You can go see how he thinks you should use them and all that jazz. I thought I would talk about what I thought about the quality and the shape of the brushes and that kind of thing. I'm a huge fan of Wayne Goss brushes. I love beautiful brushes, soft brushes, Japanese made brushes are my favorite. I've talked about that over and over again. So these are lovely. So let me see what I have in my other set. In my other set I have brush 11 and brush 13. So let's start with brush 10, which I believe Wayne said has been redesigned. This is, first of all, all the brushes are white goat hair. They are ultra, ultra soft. Uh, it's goat hair, not squirrel, but it is, it's beyond soft, really. I, I, um, I have washed the brushes, used them, um, and washed them a second time, so they're all clean. I wanted to wash them so I could talk about them today and they wouldn't be dirty. This is a beautiful brush. It's great for highlighter. You can do contour with this. I tend to use it for powder in my T-zone or powdering under my eye. But you could use this brush for blush, bronzer, whatever you want to use it for. It's really, really nice. Not super dense. I have not had any shedding. I think on my first wash, a couple of them lost a couple hairs, which is to be expected the first time you wash them. They're beautiful. Uh, so these have been washed twice and there's they hold their shape very nicely. They cleaned very beautifully. Uh, all of these brushes have been in pigmented products, so and they're, they're white again. Love it. Brush number 10. I don't have a brush to compare it to in his other line. I have the number 2 brush from, I think, his first version, which is very nice, but this is really much softer. Beautiful brush. Brush 11 in the new line. I have two of these, right? I have this one in the old line. Yeah. So here is the new one, and here is the old one. They are very similar. I would say the new one is a, a, maybe just a hair taller, maybe. Um, they feel very similar to me. This, this new one might be ever so slightly less dense, um, but again, they are very, very similar in size and shape. The other thing you have to remember is this has been well used and well loved for a very long time. Uh, so it might appear fluffier just because it's been washed more and that kind of thing and used more and this one will probably get there. This is a beautiful brush for powder, bronzer, blush if you wanted to. Again, very, very soft. I've had no shedding of these. These are, um, you know, done with white lettering and the numbers are on there in white. These were, I think, lasered on there so you can't see the name as clearly if that matters to you. But 
beautiful, soft, again, no shedding, love it. Brush 12 is a little bit um, similar to this. So Just brush 12 is very, is similar to 11, but it's much more dense and slightly shorter. I don't have this in his other set to compare it to, but again, this is great for buffing in bronzer, buffing on powder. It's, um, the head is a little bit thicker. You can see it's slightly more dense, beautiful, just a soft, again, a little flatter across the top. You can see this has slightly more rounding, so best for buffing in, that kind of thing. Beautiful. And then 13, I have a comparison to. So this is his 13 brush in the new, which I think he suggests for foundation. Um, and so here's my other 13. They're very similar. I my this version feels like maybe there's maybe it's a little thicker, a little bigger. But again, I think that could be because it's been used and washed and used and washed for a long, long time. Whereas this one is brand new. But I did put foundation on with this a few days in a row and cleaned it. And you can see it is um, back to being white, which um, I like. I actually like these. I don't like these brushes are very soft so for me for putting liquid foundation on I, I don't prefer this I prefer the artiste brush but I love this for buffing powder in to sort in my t-zone when I want a little more coverage or to buff it into you know sort of conceal pores and that kind of thing buff a mineral powder in this is beautiful love them okay and then the last two are did I talk about 14 so the last two are 14 and 15. So let me make sure I covered these. Yeah, 14 and 15. And these are brushes I don't have matches to because I didn't buy the first set of them. So the first one, 14, is a really loose, long brush for highlighter or this is great for super, super pigmented blushes because you can just, you know, get a little bit of color on. You could, if you're trying to just dust a little setting powder to hide some shine, but you don't want any caked, cakiness, this is a beautiful brush. It's super long and super fluffy, so not dense at all. I kind of hesitated on whether I would use this brush, but it's really nice actually. And then Wayne's fan brush, which he swears by. I use fan brushes once in a while. Um, this is a nice one. It's very soft and uh, fluffy. So it, again, for super pigmented products, I think you could do many, many things with this. Would I have purchased this on its own? Probably not, but I'll play around with it and see, you know, see what I think about it. I know Wayne loves the shape of this and it is really, really soft. So um, I love this one as well. Uh, so th those are the new brushes and kind of my initial thoughts on them. The quality is beautiful. The hairs are ultra, ultra soft. Probably some of the softest I have felt. They are goats, so they can only get a certain softness. They are not um, blue squirrel. but um, And uh, so they're not cut. They're handmade. Everything is hand placed. And that's why they're so soft because the bristles are never cut. Um, and according to Wayne, it's all done uh, in a cruelty-free fashion. So if that's important to you, then um, that's a good thing as well. So they are $250 for the set. Do I think it's worth the money? Yes. So that's like 40 maybe $42 a brush-ish, right? 42 yeah, four times six. Um, do I think they're worth it? Absolutely. The quality of these brushes is beautiful. So if you love a good Japanese brush, they are worth it. If you don't have brushes, if you bought his first set, do I think you need this new one? Probably not, unless you're a junkie like me and you love to have brushes. But I didn't purchase the first set, and I'm so happy I have these. So those are my initial thoughts on the Wayne Goss brushes. If you have any questions about them, feel free to um, put it in the comments below, and I will try to answer those questions for you. So let's talk about some new lip products from Chanel. So the first thing that Chanel came out with was the... La Rouge Crayon to Color. These are the new lip crayons. They are a long wearing crayon. It's a twist up which is nice so you never have to sharpen it. Uh, I bought this in two colors. This is Rose Violine. I also have it in Rouge which I left at work. But um, this, these are really nice. 
they, uh, they're like a gel formula, so when you put them on, they just glide on beautifully. This is Rose Violine, which is a beautiful sort of rose nude, has a little more color. It's not what I'm wearing today. I should have put one of these on, but that's okay. The formula of these pencils is absolutely beautiful. They, um, they twist up so you don't have to sharpen them, but if you like a point like I do, I just take the pencil and twist it on a tissue to get that point back because you, it'll get down to a rounded you know, shape, which most people can use because it's not super fat, but I like a pointed shape. Um, and again, the formula is really, really nice. They glide on because they're a gel, and then they kind of set because they are a long wear pencil, but they don't really dry down. Your, nit, your lips never get that ultra, ultra dry feeling like they do with like a liquid lipstick or some true long wear lipsticks. And these, when I put them on, if I put them on in the morning with a pencil, I can go all the way to lunch without needing a touch up. And then if I put them on without a lip pencil to give it a little lasting pow power, um, I would say two and a half hours, three hours, it's still looking really, really good. So these do last a long time on the lips. It comes in quite a few colors. There's some good nudes and some, there's a couple of good reds and then the other colors are really, really bright. But these are going to be permanent and so hopefully more colors will come soon. Um, I love the Rouge Red as well, um, but Rose Feeling is probably my favorite. But I do wear Rouge Red a lot as well. Okay, and then Chanel came out with a couple of uh, our new glosses. So for those of you who love the Glossomers, that formula has gone away. I know many, many customers were just devastated by the fact that that formula went away. And the new formula is really, really good. I will say that. The, you know, the Glossomers have been around for 15 years. It was time to redo them. There's a new sort of creative person at Chanel in the color line, Lucia Pica. And so she's changing things up. And so they redid the Glossomers. They are now called Rouge Coco Gloss to match a lot of the other things, right? There's the Rouge Allure lipsticks. There's the Rouge Coco lipsticks. Now there's Rouge Coco Glosses. And they're really, really nice. Here's the, the things that they've improved. These are now a little bit less sticky. So if you didn't like the Glossomers because they were too sticky, I didn't think they were really that sticky, but some people thought they were sticky. These are a little less sticky on the lips. They are also much more moisturizing. So there's things in here to hydrate the lips, which is really nice to have in a gloss as well. So I have <clears throat> already gotten three colors because, you know, I'm a junkie. Another one of the improvements they made was they changed the applicator. I'm going to grab an old one. So the new applicator looks like this. I don't know if you can see. But see how it's curved right there? So this curve is meant to hug the lower lip. So you can do the lower lip and then you can turn it over and use the top side for the upper lip, which works very well. It's a much larger applicator than the previous version, which allows you to dip once and do your whole lip be done with it and put it back in, which the old version did not because it had such a tiny little, here, let's, let me show you. So here's the old version, see how small that is? And then here's, see how big the new one is? And this is not too big. I don't have big lips um, and it works really, really well for me. So I do like them. I wish they had duplicated a couple other colors from the original, but there are 24 colors in the new version, 24 colors. So if you can't find a color in that, really, come on. So the colors that I bought, the first one is this one, which is called Melted Honey. And it is a, it is a honey color with some, you know, micro shimmer in it. So there it is. It's just a nice, like, golden honey color with a little shimmer in it. It's a gloss, so that's what you get. I actually have this on my lips today over just a nude kind of pencil and I really love it. This is also because it has that little bit of tan color. If you have a lipstick on that is just a hint maybe too bright for you, you could dab a little of this over it and it will um, mute it a little bit. I also got the gold one which I believe is called Excitation. Again, this is just, this has less color but more shimmer, more brightness. So there that is. Do, do you need both? No, but
but I bought Melted Honey first and was wearing it, and then I decided I should have the gold one as well. And then my other favorite is 724, which is Burnt Sugar, and this is a beautiful sort of bronzy rose color. This has nice color to it. There it is right there. It's really pretty on the lips. Almost a little bit metallic, some of them are. So the colors are beautiful. The other thing interesting that they did, and I don't have any of them, but they made three colors that are meant to be top coats um, for your lips. So one of them is black, which looks a little bit scary, but when it's meant to be, it's a sheer no glitter just a sheer black gloss and so if you have a lip on that you want to deepen you can put the black over it and it deepens the color of whatever it is there's also a um, one that adds warmth to the it's it's like a it's like a warm orange sheer that if you want to warm up a lip you can use that and it will add a little bit of warmth to the lip um, so I thought that was very unique that they did the top coats for which really can change up your whole lipstick wardrobe if you think about it. So if you buy the black one and, you know, then every lipstick you have is really two lipsticks because it's the original and then you can deepen it with this black color, which when it's on the lips does not look black. It just deepens up whatever you're wearing. So they're very interesting and um, I do really enjoy the formula. It's very hydrating this time of winter we really really appreciate that because our lips get so dry and it's nice to be able to put on a gloss it doesn't bleed all over the place if you have lip lines you're going to have to be a little bit careful just like you are with any gloss not to overdo it but for me with a pencil i can wear them without them moving uh, or bleeding outside the lip line um, because they are you know it's a gloss but it's a nice thick one so i um but not not overly sticky so I think you should try them if you're a fan of the Glossomers. I think you'll like them and I think you'll love the new applicator. It does make a huge, huge difference. And again, there are 24 new colors. They only duped three of the old colors. So, um, you know, there are ones that are similar, but there are three of the old colors that they redid in the new formula. They changed the name, of course, but um, they kept the colors consistent which is nice but if those weren't the ones you loved then <laughs> you're back to looking for a new one um, so I think that is it for today that I wanted to talk about so hopefully you guys found this helpful um, if you're a brush lover you should get the Wayne Goss brushes they are beautiful beautiful um, and I wanted to share the new Chanel lip products with you because I've been loving them that's it for today I hope everybody's having a fantastic day and I will talk to you all again soon